right. <clears throat> All right. So let me just give everybody an update. Um, sorry to have my phone with me today, so I didn't get a chance to to really show all the work I did, I, which I did a lot of work. Uh, you can see here I got it covered up, but I went ahead and, as you can see, I went ahead and um, sanded that down to uh, 320, then 400 wet. Same thing. Follow this, follow this, and that door. If you saw it earlier, you remember everything we had the 2K on it. So, um, as you can see, I haven't got those lights yet. That's on the list. Um, but the first thing I had to do, if you saw the other video, uh, if I uploaded it yet, if not, was actually do the body work. So, I mean, it was still some work to do. But <clears throat> for right now, I got the uh, quarter panel extensions covered up, and then I also got the um, uh, door hinges covered up. So, <clears throat> y'all still got to forgive me. I'm on my phone uh, recording this because I have yet to find a charger to the Zoom. The Zoom is the, the Droid tablet. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do just for, for kicks and giggles is not go at it straight up and... Um, do what I'm supposed to do, do the test panel. Um, I'm actually going to use, where is that gun? I'm going to actually use this gun right here. And it's just, like you said, this is just to see how everything lay down, just get acclimated with, this is not the gun I'm going to be using, but to get acclimated with using a desiccator and seeing how base lays down, just the whole nine. Uh, went ahead and if you saw this test panel earlier, it was just sitting in the cut. But I went ahead and actually blocked this down, not for real, for real, but blocked it down with 180, 320, and then 600 wet. Oh, I'm lying to y'all. Um, I did not do, for these, I did not do 400. I did not do 400. No, I did not. I actually did 600 wet. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, and I probably... I, I probably have to come after some some conversations with uh, with uh, a couple people. I'll give out names a little bit later, but more than likely I'd get some more sandpaper and just do 500 dry the whole way. It depends. I'm not sure yet. I get to that when I get to it. But let me tell you what I did. I actually went from uh, to 2K to 320 to 600 wet. The reason why I use 600 wet, I started off with 400 wet, but even with me barely sanding it, I noticed that I was actually cutting through. And I don't want to cut through. And I know I reduce. It wasn't like a high bill 2K, even though it is a high bill, but I know I reduce it enough to actually go with it. So anyway, let me go ahead and um, clean this up, as you can see. Um, got a nice little shine to it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, get the uh, sealer first, the black primer sealer. I'm gonna spray this. I'm gonna read the text sheet again. If I remember correctly, it said wait 15 minutes between the coat. But I'm gonna set the pressure up on my. Uh, and I know that when I get ready to do the actual spray spray. As you can see, that is, I don't know if that's saying change immediately. It's like this pinkish color says change, but change immediately is white. I don't know. It looks close to white to me. But anyway, let's do this first and we'll see how it comes out. And I'll let you know. All right. All right, so as y'all can see, I went ahead and sprayed the door hinges. Remember, it's a coupe, so it's four of them. Then I went ahead and sprayed that test panel. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do one of these quick moves back and forth 
So you can set, oh, that's nice. Ooh, ooh. Nah. You know, I like to be straight up. And this is what's straight up. <clears throat> and forgive me, this is still with my phone because I haven't found my Zoom charger. That's the tablet charger, Android. But as you can see, you can see from the light. And I'll be honest with you, um, I'm not sure if it's trash. I know when I first started spraying this, using this, because I call myself using a test gun, using a test panel, using this masking paper. I call myself using this test gun because I don't want to mess up Not that one, because I was going to use that. Heard y'all talking about that. Using the mini, the mini gun for your um, jams. But, remember we talked about that before. That starting lineup. That one right there. I ain't want to mess that up. I guess I don't want to make it dirty. I guess that was the reason. But I decided to use this. And because I saw a couple of y'all using this old desiccator, I went ahead and I had it just laying around. never did use it because the first time I put it on, I had a serious issue with adjusting the pressure. So I said, oh, you know, let me try to use it. Let me try to, you know, kill any type of water that might be in the line. Okay? Even though I got this. Even though I got that. Bad decision. But before we even get to the gun, it might not have been that bad. Let's get to um, let's get to this first. This right here was my first problem. So we're gonna talk about all the problems first, and then I tell you the only good thing about doing this test. All right. So I was supposed to do four one to one. Now, I'm a chemist by trade, so this is a problem when ever since I've been using a 2K or even a base, a clear that I've been done once or twice, I've been doing everything by hand because, again, I'm a chemist by trade. My problem is I tried to use this, and because it's black, and maybe there's something else, I don't know, but I went to the two. Then I was supposed to go to the next two. Let me show you. I was supposed to go to the next two, but I couldn't see the first two. And then I couldn't see the second two because that jet black just covered it all. Hmm. Just a thought that went through my head. Maybe I can use a flashlight and flash it through. I don't know. I doubt it. But anyway, that's the very first problem because you know what? This four one to one became a four four to four well it didn't quite go up that high i'll tell you what actually came it came one part to one part to one part all right so that was no good and what i'm assuming is that the solvent didn't get enough time to catalyze <clears throat> so when i started spraying and i should have known this from the beginning i first sprayed this and when i sprayed it it was like splotches the pressure was right, I believe. Remember, could be off again because I'm not sure. But that was a problem initially. So then, I should have known from the previous times I did, it's not going to get any better. Whether you spray it on a masking paper or you spray it on an actual test panel, it's not going to get no better. And what happened? I started initially spraying it here. When I started spraying it here, that's when I got the splotches. Alright? So right now, I can't ask any questions because procedurally, I messed up. I didn't do right procedurally. So that's the problem. That's the first issue. Alright? And again, that's one to one to one. So that's just no good. Second thing, just to recap, 
I got to stay consistent with the tools that I use. It took me a while for me to even understand how to use that. Where the other gun at? For me to understand this. Yeah, laugh at me, but it took me a while. I feel good about it. At least I'm able to change the pressure and all that good stuff. But it took a while. So for me to do this and then start off with a new, you know, primer sealer, I never used that. Uh, that's why I didn't even go to base. That's why I didn't go to clear for what? I'd be wasting materials. This one that big of a deal, that's why I did it because that's just the door hinges. It's not a big deal. I went ahead and sprayed all that. But this was actually good for me because I see three things I need to work on. All right. Number one, let's start from the very beginning. My workstation. Do you see a workstation? I see all y'all got a workstation. I guess I was different. I need to have a workstation. I call myself taking it inside. I can't even tell you what what is the yeah. If you saw my other videos, you know what's right beyond those walls so that was no good that's not a workstation workstation needs to be out here in the cut I need to have a bench something that I can comfortably mix my tools put my tools I mean put my paint in mix everything thoroughly all that good stuff then I also gotta get I mean I used to do it when I was painting the house but I gotta get that um, like the little spout whatever so I can pour the paint in because as you can see I mean I probably I mean it waste a lot a lot but it was enough stuff expensive at least to me so first thing workstation second thing measuring out the right product that caused a big issue third issue tools Got to make sure I stay consistent. So, yes, I'm going to do this whole thing back over again. Not this. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to do the whole test panel back over because I know that that's something that's got to show up right. I have to have this thing where I don't see trash. I don't see splotches. I don't see all that orange peel. Until I get it right, just got to keep doing it. I hate to be going through materials, but it's better than this than being on this. And this is just the jams. So, yeah, I still got some work to do. Um, still got to get the lights. Haven't got that yet. Um, I'm going to get them. Trust me, I'll I get them. Yes, Sam. Trust me, y yes, Sam. But, <clears throat> again, I want to just give a shout out again to um, Turbo Cobra for putting me on with the, uh, you know, the gang here. And, uh, Getting all this support from y'all, I appreciate it. Um, shout out to Wild Eye uh, Thomas for uh, for reaching out to me, and, and and I appreciate us being able to chop it up and go over everything that needs to be done. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Advice was uh, well considered and invaluable, and I appreciate it, and I appreciate the invitation. Um. What I'll be doing next is I'll be bringing the car in. I'm going to start the mask. Um, I'll check out some of y'all videos on back, 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 back masking and then all the other masking stuff. I'll check that out because, yeah, I'm at that point. Um, but just to cut in for a second, you know what I noticed? It wasn't a lot of overspray. It wasn't as much overspray as I thought it was. Let's put it like that. Um, matter of fact, I really can't see nothing but what's on the floor I mean I covered up everything else I really don't see anything even over here I mean I just don't see nothing I mean I got a little bootleg fan over there like I said we'll we'll get it together I got a bucket too that's another thing cleaning my guns cleaning everything out I went ahead and got a bucket and I'm, I'm just using as much um, Lack of thinner as possible. Make sure I'm doing this right. But anyway, uh, what I do is I bring the car and I move this all out the way. Well, move this over there. 
bring the car in, I start masking. I don't know, I might have to take her out just for the just for the kicks and giggles. I mean, it's been a while just since I rode her. I know she like, damn, just forget about me. I ain't forget about you, girl. But anyway. Let me go ahead and just move this to the side and I'll go ahead and um bring the car in, start masking. I'll update you all on that because jams gotta be done by Saturday, no later than. No later than. They gotta be done. So comment, let me know if um you see anything that can prepare me for it. Um again, if I follow the procedures I will be asking more objective and narrow ended questions. But um I mean I pretty much messed up procedurally. So it could be eight million things that I did wrong. But uh let me get that procedures taken care of. I'm gonna do this back over again. I'm going to uh, sand it down and get ready to spray it again. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I don't know how long it's going to take to dry. And we'll just go from there. All right. I appreciate you all for checking in and checking me out. Leave comments. Let me know. Appreciate you. Later.